And our first speaker is none other than Father Lucas Juma, one of our top directors, uh, headed to Sapphire Director anytime. So if Father Lucas, you can hear me, please uh, take it away. Thank you very much, PT, for the opportunity. And uh, I don't need much to introduce myself because you have already done it. I just want to confirm if I am clear enough. Very clear, very loud. Thank you. So the topic of today is how to deal with rejection or how to handle rejection and objection. Um, just to begin uh, with a small sharing of my experience is that uh, for the last five years that I have been in male life, I joined because of uh, sickness of my mom. And then later on, I said, let me also share with the people so that they can also get healed the way my mom got healed. And it wasn't easy. The driving force that was pushing me to that was also to earn something small. Actually, by now, I wouldn't call it something small because I needed money to educate my younger sisters who are joining secondary school by then. Right now, they are in university. And so I needed money badly. And as I had been told that using the products and sharing the products and then training, uh, apart from building the, the network, these were the things that were going to propel me to success. And so I started with a lot of enthusiasm, but I remember that objection and rejection began directly with the people I was dealing with. I started by sharing the Christians that I was preaching to that uh, everyone who is suffering from arthritis, ulcers, diabetes, pressure, etc., should see me after the mass. And they would come and I would be enthusiastically presenting the products. And a good number would say, but we have been with you here, Father. Why lie to us? When did you become a doctor? So this one was a rejection. The first rejection came from the, the Christians that I thought would just believe uh, at once. But I never gave up. It actually opened up my eyes and I said, I need to learn more on how to do the presentation of the products to know much about the product so that I would actually help the people I needed to help. But one thing is that I never gave up. And along the line, it wasn't easy as such. The people with whom I was staying even in the same house started mocking me. And uh, they used to call me Daktari, not because of respect, but because of mockery. And, uh, it did not deter me from moving ahead until I think uh, in two years from the time I joined, that was uh, 2019, I became a director. But things changed because when I became a director, then people started uh, respecting me. Why? Because I had already learned a lot about the products, about how to do the presentations, about how to share with the people. And so, and then within that period also, some people had already experienced the products in a positive way. And so they were already testifying on my behalf, the goodness of our products. And therefore, uh, as we share today, I would just say in summary that I have had a fair share of rejection. Uh, I wouldn't quote all of them. I just want us now to see how do we handle all these rejections and what have I done so that we reached where I have reached now. The first, pass, uh, the first thing that uh, we need to do is that when you join Neo Life and uh, you are somebody who wants to go far, Remember that rejections and objections will always be there. P 
People will despise you. They will not believe you at first sight. But do not, uh, do not bulge. Do not uh, uh, blink. Hmm? Take your future into your hands. This is first advice that I am giving to each one of us. Take your future into your hands. Decide once for all that I am in this thing and I am not going to bulge. Take control of everything that you are doing. And remember that when you are in charge of the things, you are when you are on top of everything, people will notice the confidence that you have and the doubt of people will reduce. That will not end objections. And so another thing that will help you is a burning desire to succeed. Even though it is so disheartening that people are rejecting you now and then, but then if you have that burning desire to succeed, you will never, never be discouraged. Number three, there should be determination and strong passion. These are things that one person has to have in order to succeed. Love what you are doing. So do not uh, be pushed. Do not be pushed to share the products about, pro, about arthritis. I remember that I shared it in, in, until it came into my blood. Every time where I am, I just find myself sharing about arthritis. Even when I went for burial, after burying the person, I tell the people there that so and so we have already buried, that one has already gone and is staying in peace. But you who are still remaining, if you have arthritis, ulcers, diabetes, pressure, get me and I give them my telephone number. And within the week, I would find a few people calling me. And that is how I came to get customers. So I got obsessed. I loved what I was doing. And I was doing so that I may find people getting healed and that was a satisfaction. Then another thing is to have a vision. maono. A good number of us are doing it because others are doing. Do it when you are convinced that this is what is going to help you to move to the next level. Why are you sharing the products? You are sharing it to solve people's problems. And so have that your vision. Where do you want to reach with this? So that vision will help you to move when things are difficult. And then another thing that I have to say is that we need to stand for something and believe in what you stand for. A good number of us are just living uh, because it is morning, we are waking up. It is evening, we are going to sleep. No, stand for something and be, be, be somebody who has an intention. Live intentionally so that whatever you are doing through thick and thin, you will achieve it. You will do it until the end because discouragement will come so that you, you stop doing it. But you continue doing it. I remember I was even told to stop this all this issue of nail life by the people who are in charge of me, my superiors. Yes, I said, yes, I have stopped. But even now, three years later, I see them following my WhatsApp, uh, uh, my WhatsApp uh, page. They see what I, I post and uh, I know that they are following, but I don't mind. I know that they are loving it at the end. A good number of people who are objecting me at the beginning are now buying my super group. So consistency is quite important. So you need to stand for something and believe in what you stand for. Then another thing is resilience. That inner power that is going to push you, whether things are difficult or easy, you are not relaxing. You are moving through rejection, through objections, but you continue moving so that nobody is going to push you to move. Do not wait for people to console you. Console yourself and tell yourself, Lucas, it is not the end of time. Tomorrow is another day to wake up and fight. And this is the good fight to, to, to help the world become healthier and happier. 
So if it is our mission and we are helping the people even to bring something in their pockets, hey, you cannot give up and you cannot afford to give up. Actually, resilience is what is going to help you, especially during the moments of rejection. And then another thing, take action daily. It is a daily action, a daily activity. It is not a part-time thing that I do it once in a week or once in a month or when opportunity arises. Put it into your mind. When it is social media, you are there. When it is in a gathering, you are there. In a wedding, you are there. There are opportunities to present the products, to share the opportunity. And despite the fact that people will tell you negative things, don't take it like this is the end of time. Tomorrow you wake up again on the same. And when people see that you are just moving, they also get tired of disturbing you with negative thoughts and talks. Something else is learn more about the products. Because when you don't have knowledge of the products, that mm -hmm. is when you can be swayed. You go and tell somebody that, uh, oh, uh, somebody takes CNN and then when they go for short call, they find that the, the, the short call is uh, thick. And so somebody says, oh, what do I do? Can I stop taking? Oh yes, stop taking. Because you don't know that that is a normal reaction of TNN. So the best thing is to learn more on how these products are, how they react, what they do to the body, and what do they do uh, for our health. Now, when you have that knowledge for, when you have that knowledge for the products, then you are so sure that people will try. And when they see that whatever you are telling them is true, then they will automatically, they will automatically use those products and start believing you. Do not stop learning, continue. And that is the reason why we have always the Zoom meetings, the Zoom presentations about the products, take advantage of all those presentations. Go to Google, learn more. Go to YouTube, learn more. We have many opportunities of learning about the products. Until you become an expert that you can say it off head, people will uh, stop their rejections and objections. And then another thing, apart from learning about the products, use the products as well. Be a user, be the first customer. And uh, if you become the first customer, people will see the, the results of the products in you. And therefore, uh, that confidence will always be seen. And then be a people person. That means that even if others reject you tomorrow, you are already talking with others. Something else is to learn and know how to present the products. Know how to present the LDC, know how to present care and all those products that we have. <laughs> And then something else is uh, use the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule means 20% of the products will give you 80% of the results. So what do you do in that case? Specialize in a certain product and be a specialist. There are some people who are specialists in supergroup. There are some people who are specialists in TNN. There are some people who are specialists in uh, arthritis products. So when you are specialist in a certain product, you remember that you will sell it more than other products. That doesn't mean that you don't have knowledge about others, but anytime somebody thinks about super growth, they're thinking about you. Or so, when somebody is thinking about uh, LDC, somebody is thinking about you. And uh, they will equate you also with that product. Like I remember people, some people call me father arthritis. Yeah, 
Uh, so anybody who has got arthritis and they come across, they you simply give them my telephone number. Be a specialized a specialist in one thing that at least people will identify you with. Uh, something more, get out of your comfort zone. Do what others are fearing to do. Do what you yourself fear to do. Sometimes we fear approaching strangers. We fear making a presentation because we say, what will people think? Let them think what they will think. But remove that fear. Get out of your comfort where you are OK. Get out of there and do a presentation. Learn what you have not yet learned. Be always eager to get something new. And then something more, take personal responsibility. Take ownership. Take ownership of your business. When you got the, 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 the nail life uh, uh, ID, your license, it is your name that was written in it, not your upline's name. And so you take responsibility of building this business. The others are just there to support you and to help you grow. And so when you take personal ownership or personal responsibility, then you will find that you grow higher and higher. Do not wait for your upline to call you. Please do your 100 points. Please purchase. Please do this. Because it is so clear that at the beginning of the month, you're already planning that I'm going to use Neolife tea. I'm going to use Neolife shake. I'm going to use TNN. I'm going to use LDC. Why should you be reminded? This is what I mean by taking personal responsibility. And plan yourself very well. Whom am I going to sell to? And get always new horizons. Because don't go to the same people every time and getting the same results every time. You want different results? Look for different people, different horizons, different environments. I have to, to, to quote the Bible where Jesus had preached somewhere and says, now I have to go to the other side of the lake. Because there are also people waiting for me, the other side, to hear the good news. So people are waiting for you in other parts of the world. Go to them. Don't just stay in one place. Own your business. And then owning the business also means buying and selling. Ask yourself, what do I have in stock? It is always good to have something in stock so that when people look for it, they get it. And this one will always dispel objections and rejections because they see that you have it. So whatever you have means that you own it, you love it, you, you, you want also to share it. So do not fear of buying even uh, products in bulk and keeping so that you can sell it uh, at a profit. And this is how we also earn profit. And then learn to step up. Learning to step up simply means that uh, when the month begins, you are planning for yourself. How many PVs am I going to make? I am planning myself to make 1,000 PVs this month, or 500, or 250, or 100, or 300. So struggle so much that you, are, you get it. That is what I said, being intentional. So when I'm talking to people, I am looking for new clients to help me get those points. But still, among all those uh, things that I have said, resilience and ETC and owning the business, people will still reject you. Then what do you also need to do? Number one now, don't take the rejection personally. When you take it personally, it makes you sad. It, laugh it out and then continue. Number two, review your strategies. Do not copy paste. Simply because I saw somebody uh, taking two glasses and uh, one glass uh, Akamwaga Supergro and then the other one was pure water 
Then the person took a piece of paper and placed in the water mixed with supergro and the other piece of paper in the plain water. And then we watched it uh, reacting. The one in the supergro was sinking faster than the one in the plain water. And so I am going to present this, uh, this experiment everywhere I go. No, this is what I call copy pasting. Sometimes it is not necessary in some places. Learn about the products, be creative enough, know what, what can fit where. So review your strategies. Number three, work on your attitude. Your mindset matters a lot. When you tell yourself that I am brave, I am a lion, I can make it, you will make it. But if you already tell yourself that I am not able, I am weak, I don't have customers, you will, in fact, they start disappearing. So work on your attitude. Tell yourself every morning that today God is going to bless me in a big way. And you will find customers calling you, coming to you. There is a connection between what you think and what happens to you. Number four, focus on the next opportunity. When somebody tells you no, do not stop there. Look for the next opportunity somewhere else and you will progress. Have a to-do list so that every day you know, today I'm planning to do one, two, three with so and so. I have a, a certain number of customers. What do they need? If you have stayed long before calling them, call them. And don't just call people to ask them, what are you buying now? Call them also to tell them, hi, how are you? I was just calling on you to see. We have not chatted for long. I am concerned about your health. Show people that you are concerned and they will be attracted to you. Otherwise, they will only say, who you mutu arthritis and anipigia kwa nini? Mimi nilisha pona. Be a people person. Then number five, practice your listening skills. Sometimes we push people to love, to take what we want them to take. Because I have a big stock of provitality, I want to sell all, all of them. So I'm looking for a market through thick and thick. No, give people what they need and not what you want them to have. So listening will help you understand what do they need at that particular time. Number six, Take stock of your success. Uh, daily activities, daily sales, daily success, or weekly sales. Record it somewhere and know, am I progressing or am I stagnant? And then act on it. When you see that in one week you have not even done 20 points, then there is something that you need to do. Unless you are satisfied that that is where you want to be. But if you want to increase your sales, then you have to increase your presentations. And then number seven, appreciate your clients even when they say no. Be calm, be professional. Don't start uh, throwing tantrums. Ah, me, I'm leaving this business. Oh, my upline. Hey. Because uh, your upline also has got a certain load that he or she is carrying. And so uh, be just be professional. When they tell you no, probably they're not saying no to you. They're telling no to the product. And probably they're telling you no, no at this moment. And in the next six months, they are going to say yes. And that leads me to the next point, that is patience. Be patient. The client might, might not want what you want, you want to give them now, but in the next six months, things may change and they may want it. So be patient with them and do not say, ah, we are Alekata. Oh, sorry. The person refused, so I will never present this to him or to her anymore. So continue, continue being patient with them. After a certain time, you can continue again to present the same, same thing in a different way, probably. Learn, uh, number nine, learn to make fun out of your rejection. Uh, make fun out of it. I remember one day uh, I was writing messages and I wrote to a client who had already told me that he was going to look for money for diabetes products. And so I was just reminding him and other clients that now you can send your products because I'm, you can send your money because I will be making orders today. 
And the answer that I got shocked me because he told me, I thought you are a priest. Kumbe, you are also a con man, conning people. Mimi nilivikiria we ni mutu wa mungu. It touched me so much. But then later on, I looked at myself and said, how many people have I conned? And I realized none. So I laughed it out and continued. And at the end of it all, I said, the person didn't reject me. He rejected his hell. And life continues. And uh, since then, it's one year since, I have continued uh, getting clients, making my points and continuing progressing. So when the person rejects, it is not you that he is rejecting. He's rejecting the, the products. Do not take it personal. And then number 10, be closer to your creator. God uh, created you and he will always support you even when things are difficult. But God wants you to be closer to him because you get some uh, uh, supernatural strength, especially when things are not easy. Uh, in Matthew 28, it is we are told that uh, Jesus said, I will be with you until the end of time. And this is a cons uh, consolation and uh, assurance to us that even when things are difficult, there is uh, Christ who is with us and who is supporting us. So this, our business, uh, you must also involve God because we are doing the work of God, the work of healing God's people, the work of transforming people's lives. And so we need the strength of God. Otherwise, uh, the, the rejections and the objections will always be there so long as we are in this world. The only thing that we need to do is to be aware and uh, soldier on, soldier on. Take personal responsibility and you will move far. Do not wait to be pushed. Do not be a wheelbarrow. Be a kite that moves on its own. And uh, the, 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 the uplines and the, the cross lines and friends are only there to support you, but not to push you. Because when people are pushing you, it reaches a moment you get tired to be pushed and you start even closing your phone. Sometimes when you see uh, your uplines telephone number and especially on 28th, 29th uh, of the month, then you start saying this one is only looking for the PVs and yet I am stuck, I, people are rejecting me. So push yourself and you will find that things become easy. Le last but not least, practice makes perfect. So practice makes perfect. When you, you, you learn about uh, this thing today, tomorrow, put it into practice. Do not uh, write notes the way you have already written and keep those notes. Tomorrow you learn something, put what you have learned into practice and each day you are going to make progress. Otherwise, uh, I beg to stop there. Uh, I hope that the little that I have shared is going to inspire somebody to greater heights. We are on the second uh, week of the month. We have two more weeks to go. Uh, I only urge us to put more effort so that by the end of next week, three quarters of the results are already there and you will succeed. God bless you. And uh, uh, happy birthday to our PT. Uh, I think uh, before we continue, maybe we would sing him happy birthday, if uh, you don't mind. Maybe all of us can be unmuted so that we wish him happy birthday. Pierre Rose, if you are there, or Dr. Josphat, you can unmute all of us. Yeah, you. Um, unmute yourself now again, Father Lucas. Anyone is, uh, everyone is able to unmute themselves. <clears throat> I, I just muted you as I was trying to enable everyone to do this. Happy birthday, don't.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father Lucas, uh, for that excellent session. Uh, we appreciate. And uh, thank you, Tim, even for wishing me a happy birthday. Uh, it has been a, a very beautiful short day. And uh, I really appreciate each one of you. Honestly, I appreciate each one of you. You are the best, superstars, Tim. You're just the best. You know, it is evident that we are a family, you know? I'm, I'm always excited to be in this family even more than in my biological uh, family. So we really appreciate you and uh, may we live to impact this world. I'm excited that God has given me yet another year to impact the world more than anything else. All right, so celebrations will continue after this. For now, uh, oh, Piero is reminding you that uh, the Mpesa number is still, she's still the one collecting money. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Father Lucas, thank you for the very wonderful presentation that you've shared with us on handling rejection and objection. And uh, this is all what we need as a team for us to really, really win big. I, I don't want to add much before we go to recognition. Allow me to just uh, add a few points on what Father Lucas has shared with us, because this is valuable. This is gold. If you can be able to overcome rejection and objection, nothing whatsoever will ever pluck you out of this business until you get to the top of the ranks. And Father Lucas has told us this, that you need to be obsessed with your business. You know, when you are too busy with something, you, you don't even hear the noises out there. Think about that. Some, we, 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 we get stuck on what people are saying because we are focusing more on the noise than on what we want, what we are looking for. And of course, when you bow down to those who are rejecting you, you give them power. One thing that made us peers and I to keep going is actually rejection. Think about it. The same thing that you would take as the cost of, for you not to progress is the same thing that someone else will pick and use it as fuel for their success. So when they told us that we can't, we decided we are going to do it until we prove them wrong. And as we say the other day, if someone tells you you cannot paint, go ahead and paint and the noise will fizzle away. You know, the higher you go, the uh, lesser the noise, because there's a level up there where noise can't reach. I, I, I'm sure you, you know that, that the higher you go, the lesser the noise that you hear. And if you expect people not to reject you, then it is similar to expecting a, a bull not to fight you because you are a vegetarian. That will not happen. The bull will still fight you, whether you eat meat or you're a vegetarian, all right? So let, let's soldier on. I mean, the future is incredible. Think about the future that awaits you, that financial freedom, that perfect health, that exotic lifestyle, and you will not allow anything uh, in the name of rejection or objection to stop you or to slow you down. And I love it as I wind up. I love it what Father Lucas said. Make fun of it. Think about it. You know, whenever people told me that I can't do it, and some of them would ridiculously, you know, you know, tell me, 
uh, look at you. You know, the way people will, in a way, to belittle you. They would tell me, look at you. And then I would make fun out of that. I would go to a mirror and look at myself and tell myself, wow, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So I was so excited to, to see myself on the mirror, how fearfully and wonderfully I, I am made. That is what Father Lucas was calling, making fun of it. May God help us to know that uh, there is no success without going through no's. Actually, I would say no is the answer. No is, the more no's you get, the faster you succeed. Do you know what you can do? Well, Father Lucas forgot to tell us this. There's one proven formula for you never to get a no. Who would want to get that formula? I want to tell you how you can uh, make sure no one will ever tell you no. How many of us would want to learn the formula? Huh? Of never ever getting a no in your entire life in this business. I know all of us want to uh, get the formula. And this is it, very simple. Never talk to anyone. <laughs> That's the only proven formula. Oh, Mary Boshi was very eager to hear. Is it possible? Yes, I told you the answer. I gave you the answer. The answer is never talk to anyone. That means die poor. <laughs> but as long as you're talking to people, you'll get the nose. And the more nose you get, the more yeses you get in between. That's great. Finally, talk to so many people that those who say no don't count. And when you get one yes, please forget the nine no's. I repeat, when you get one yes, forget about the nine no's and concentrate on that one yes. Because it is the one yes that you want, not the nine no's. Sometimes we focus on what we don't want and we get more of it. Instead, we should focus on what we want so that we can get more of what we want. God bless you so much. We want to uh, end that session there and we got recognition. We want to recognize those who have done something uh, this uh, month already.